Hello, kids. My name is Jack, and this is my friend Mouse. Hello, boys and girls. We want to welcome you to our puppet show, Jack and the Candlestick Troubles. Mouse and I live in the same big house, and even though we're good friends, we get into quite a spat. Enjoy, Enjoy the, the show! show. Whatever's the matter? Please, Jack, I can't take it anymore. It's bad enough when you jump over a short candlestick, but when you jump over these tall ones, I worry that you'll catch your knickers on fire. Or that you'll knock over the candlestick and burn down my hickory dickory clock. What would I do then, Jack? <laughs> oh, now I'm sorry, Mouse. Please don't cry. I didn't know that it was causing you such worry. Worry? When you're jumping that candlestick, I can't eat nor sleep. I'm afraid my whiskers will fall out for all my worries. It happened to my Uncle Stubby. It's true that these tall candles get hot on my bottom, Mouse. But what am I to do? I'm Jack, remember? Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jump over the candlestick. Quack, quack. Hello, Jack. Hello, Mouse. What's the matter? And why isn't Jack jumping over the candlestick? Hello, Duck. It seems a mouse is afraid of the candle's flame. He's worried that I'll burn my bottom and knock over the candlestick and put up his hickory dickory clock. Oh, my, my. Mouse, you have a point. A very good point. It is dangerous, Jack. You're right to worry, Mouse. Yes, yes, you're right to worry. Duck, when Jack is jumping over the candlestick, I can't eat nor sleep. I'm afraid my whiskers will fall out for all my worries. I could even lose my lovely fur. It happened to my cousin, Furless. All right, Mouse. I don't want you to worry. But what am I to do? I'm Jack Be Nimble. Well, I suppose I can move my candlestick outside, away from the house. Oh, no, you don't, Jack Be Nimble. You're not bringing that lit candlestick out here amongst my lovely trees. Caw, caw. Hello, friends. What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. Jack B. Nimble wants to bring his dangerous lit candlestick out here amongst the lovely trees. That's what. Oh, no, Jack. We can't have that. You could start a forest fire. No, no, we can't have that. Can't have that. Caw, caw. Well, I must jump over the candlestick, and that's that. It's what I do. Not, amongst, not, not in this country. house, you don't. I'm afraid all my whiskers will fall out for all my worries. I could even lose my lovely fur. <gasps> Look at that. The breeze blew out the flame on Jack's candlestick. So it did. <sighs> what a relief. Well... No harm can come from jumping over an unlit candlestick, I suppose. No harm that I can see, Jack. Well then, from this day on, my candlestick shall remain unlit. Yay! Hooray for Jack! Hooray! 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 Thank you, Hooray! thank you. I believe I'm feeling hungry again. Would y'all like to join me for some supper? Yes! yes. Thank oh, you, Mouse. Yes, Mouse. Another time, friends. I've got some jumping to do. <laughs> <laughs> 